The other day, I just stumbled into something that I think is actually incredibly useful. Specifically, when you need or want information but don't have access to books or a connection to the internet. It's an app called Kiwi X. Now, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it because there is a Kiwi in the logo. Apparently, it's been around since 2007, but this was the first time I'd come across it. Here's what it does. The Kiwi X app lets you download and read websites completely offline. Not just a few pages here and there, but we're talking about entire websites like Wikipedia, Project Gutenberg, TED Talks, Medical References, iFixit, and even some YouTube sites like Urban Prepper. Once you've got the files, you can search and browse them just like you normally would in your web browser. No internet, no data, no signal. So why does this matter? Well, as I already hinted at, say the power is out. Cell towers are down, or maybe you're traveling somewhere remote, miles away from service. You've still got your phone or laptop, but no way to Google anything. That's where Kiwi X shines. It's like carrying a survival library in your pocket. Need to figure out how to purify water, build a makeshift shelter, or treat a minor injury? It's all there, even if the grid goes dark. Now, it's not just for emergencies, and it's not just a prepper thing. Say you're camping, or on a long flight, or maybe you're homeschooling, and just don't want kids, you know, wandering around on the, the actual internet. Having all that knowledge stored locally is just plain useful. Being empowered is an overused term these days, in my opinion, but since almost everything is locked behind cloud accounts and subscriptions, I think this really is empowering. KiwiX is free, it's open source, the app is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, as well as mobile platforms, and there's also a browser extension you can use. You just download it, pick the content packages you want from Wikipedia, medical guides, recipe books, whatever, and boom, you've got your own offline library, no strings attached. Data is compressed into the .zim format, and the project also has a hardware platform called Hotspot, which is a self-contained device with the Kiwi X app installed. There are also some similar products like XOWA, Grid-Based Pocket and Internet in a Box, but I think Kiwi X is a good choice because of the range of options it gives you for different OSs and devices. I also saw someone on YouTube making their own version of the Kiwi X Hotspot with a Raspberry Pi, a portable screen, and a small battery pack, which I must admit sounds like a fun project to try. This is just it's one of these tools I think everybody should at least know about. If you're into prepping, traveling, teaching, or just like having you know, a safety net, give it a try, it's free. So what would you load into your offline library? For me, it's probably Wikipedia for the big picture stuff. Maybe I fix it and some medical guys for peace of mind. But I'd love to hear what you'd pick. So, you know, drop it in the comments. So that's another video in the can. If you find this informative or interesting, please consider liking and subscribing down below. And remember, be excellent to each other.